welcome to my tech profile series. Uh, we're going to be looking at Gladiator Beast today after seeing um, the new ban list, or at least what looks to be the new ban list I saw in a in a Japanese comic, which uh, tends to be the first place see, you see the new ban list. So the one that I saw, the biggest one in my mind, was Gladiator Beast Bestiary, who um, who is the heart of this deck, and if he gets bottomless, you're fucked. Uh, anyway, let me just explain what these guys are. They're the gladi uh, gladiator beasts. It's hard for me to say that. Um, when they attack, they go back to the deck and they special summon one of its friends. So a quest can get any of them except itself. And when they're special summoned by the effect of a gladiator beast, they get an effect. Bestiari destroys a spell or trap. Uh, Darius special summons one. A quest gets one back to the hand from the grave. Uh, Laquari gains attack. Mermelo destroys a monster. Retiari removes one from play, and Sekutor is a special one. He, um, what does he do? He, when he's been special summoned and he attacks, um, he gets two more from the deck. He's just a, a really good one. It's just hard to get his effect off, but I use one just so your opponent has to overextend to get rid of him. Um, spells of Traps are basically getting rid of their monsters and protecting ours. Um, I'm using the huge revolution is over over Starlight Road because Starlight Road uh, can be solid warning and I don't like that because it's just not good. Okay, let's uh, let's just play because I mean oh yeah and there's the fusion monsters which Geyserus costs Bestiary and another Gladiator Beast monster it destroys two cards and when he attacks you can get two Gladiator Beasts from your deck uh, in a cost in exchange for him. All right, let's uh, let's just play because this this deck. Uh, this deck works much better when you just play. So let's uh, host. <sighs> okay. We'll get paper. Hopefully he doesn't go scissors. Everyone goes scissors, fuck's sake. I always pick paper. I've got to stop picking paper. I'm going to go random from now on. Completely random. Oh, man. Got a glass of Coke, everyone. Okay, that's a pretty good hand. We tend to want uh, one Gladiator Beast. And the rest spells are traps, but this is fine. I watch your videos, I know what you're gonna pick. Oh, what an asshole! He knows I'm gonna pick paper. See, that's why I said I gotta stop picking paper. Alright, so Evil Swarm, Caster, and it seems for you. During the turn's counters, normal summon, you can normal summon another Steel Swarm in addition to your normal summon as that. Okay. So he's gonna go into an Evil Swarm monster. Let's see what it is. Uh, it's just Utopia. Sure, that's fine. Um, so, I'm going to... Thinking of normal summoning Mermelo and setting the rest. Yeah, I'm going to normal summon Mermelo, set the rest. And then I'm going to end. Because what I want to do is attack him and then uh, use Chariot. And hopefully all these cards that are set will maybe worry him a bit. Uh, I don't want to know if you're playing on Steam, I swear to god. In fact, I might just sign off Steam. Why is Steam? Exit. There we go. Fucking Steam. I don't even use Steam. Alright, what's he got? Steel Swarm. Beginning and the end. I remember that card. I've got loads of them in Ultra Rare because I bought like three boxes of uh, Phantom Darkness when it came out to get Dark Count Dragon, which cost like £100 at the time. Literally, it cost... No, it actually, it probably didn't cost that. It probably cost, like, 70. Maybe overstating. I'm prepared to lose my Mermelo this turn, just so I can get through my, uh... my attack on Utopia next. Actually, I don't know, because he might... He might not... Oh, actually, if I do this damage step, it'll be fine. Uh, this guy... You can tribute this card to target one face-up monster your opponent controls destroy the target. Ooh. I think I'm going to let this go. Yeah, I'm going to let this go. Because I don't want to chariot it. Because chariot's my way through Utopia. So let's uh, let's just let him go through with this. Once per turn, you can shuffle one evil swarm monster from your hand at it. Blah, blah, blah. Add. Okay, whatever. Don't care. Okay. Whoops. I was meant to use this. Okay. No more summon the quarry. Attack. I 
are you going to negate? Negating. Negate. <laughs> I love Chariot. It's my favoritist. All right. Attack direct. Okay. Now we've got um, a choice. We can... I think we're going to go to top of deck and we're going to... Special summon Bestiary, who's going to destroy a spell trap. So let's destroy that. Because we got Lance and we've got Solemn Judgment, he only has two cards. I, I think we were alright. And we got Smashing Ground, you know, just to kill his monsters. Alright, um... And we're going to end there. Hopefully we should, we should be okay here. Pot of Duality, let's see what he gets. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, and Caster. Okay, I can deal with that. That's a good card, that is. That is a really good card. Because it's not a special summon. That's really good. I think I'm going to solemn his uh, whatever he normal summons. I think that's probably the best way to go. Because then I can attack and get uh, get Chariot next. So I'm going to Solemn Judgment his normal turn. Because he can't special summon anyway, so... So 2750. Do, 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 do. So... Uh, let's attack. It's top of deck. And we'll special summon. Where are you, baby? A quest? The quest gets this back to our hand. And then we're going to set it along with warning. And we should be okay. We should pretty much be winning this. <sighs> I love Chariot. It's such a good card. Uh, one sec. When your opponent controls one summon, you can special summon. Yep, sure. I'll let it go. Is he a tuner or something? No, it's just a plant. And this guy, you can tribute this card to target one face monster you opponent controls, destroy the target. And he's gonna make. What's he gonna make that I'm gonna warning? No, he's going. <laughs> Bye. Coke time. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. You see Gladiator Beasts really control them really hard. So let's draw a button mask. And we attack. And then to top a deck. And we can get, I think... Who do we want? Who do we want? I could probably get a uh, Secutor, you know. Just to finish the whole lot off. But I'm thinking Darius. And Darius gets one from the grave. So we're going to get Mermelo in attack. Probably in defense, actually. Let's get him de in defense, just in case. Because we get, do have low life points. And we'll end. And we've got all these spells of traps to help us out. We drew a quarry. Um, I think that's a good card to draw. Because then we can go into Heraclinos. Um, should we go into Herc? Or just we'll attack because that'll win the game if he hasn't got anything to stop us. All right, I won that one. Off the rematch because I never go just one match because it's unfair, really. I think. I mean, as much as I do make fun of people who side during these, I mean, some decks you just need to side against, like a burner deck. It's really unfair to go one game on a burner deck. 
And maybe, maybe Gladiator's Beasts are those ones where you should just go, you know, and sight. Alright. Grand is the only non Gladiator's Beast I got in my deck, and he just bounces cards back to the hand. Alright, duality. Let's see what he goes for. What's this? That's a card I don't know. Well, that's a good card. You can target one level 5 or higher non Dark Monster, destroy that target. That's a really good card. Um, if you control. Three or more dark monsters target one case face of card in the field, banish the target. I don't like that card. I don't like that card at all. Unless you can swarm really hard, you should never use anything like that. But I don't know if you can swarm that hard. But that's just a really terrible top deck. Okay, come on, bro, come on. Uh, gold sack uh, removes the card from play. In two turns, he gets that card to his hand. Let's see what he takes. My hand's pretty good. I like my hand. Face up, please. There's a card where you don't get to see what card it was that got banished, uh, DD Capsule. And gold sack kind of works like that, so people think you can get it face down out of play, so your opponent doesn't know what you're going to get. Uh, Darkham Dragon, that's fine. I love Darkham Dragon a lot. It's one of my favorites. Oh, he set a, oh, he just set a monster. Oh, baby, that's what I want to see. I hope it's not like a Riker, that suck. Riker rapes this deck so hard. Wow, he just, oh my god, to top of deck. Um, I'm going to go for Gladiator Beast, Retiari, I think. And we're going to remove from play his Madrigal. That's what I want to see. I'm going to set two cards then. <sighs> Turn one, yep. Pot of duality again. Um, let's see what he has. These evil swarms are very new to me. Right. When your opponent summons a monster, especially when a dark monster in your hand. Uh, Salamandra. Up to twice per turn, you can banish a monster from your grave. This card gains attack. That's really good. Not fantastic, but good. Forbidden Lance works in two ways in this deck. When you're attacking with your Gladiator Beast and they try to stop it, you can Forbidden Lance it. Or, if they've got a bigger monster, you can Lance their monster, and they'll lose 800 attack, and they'll be attacking into your monster, and then you can get your Gladiator Beast effect during their turn. So watch. Forbidden Lance it. So it goes down to 1050 attack. <sighs> I just like pizza. I'm really just like very bloated. And then we're going to put him to the top of the deck. Because you can do it during either player's turn so long as the Gladiator Beast battles. And then we're going to get a Sekitor. This is why we run Sekitor, guys. Okay. Now this is going to be fun. Alright, so we're going to Proving Ground uh, Laquari to our hand. Which is just fantastic. Normal summon Laquari uh, attack with them both. We'll attack Sekito first because we need his attack to go through. He does so much. Okay, end of the battle phase. We're going to put Laquari to the top. And we're going to get Retiari, who removes cards from play. So we'll go for Salamandra out of play. And Sekito, because he was special summoned by Gladiator Beast, every time he attacks, you get to special summon a mon uh, two Gladiator Beast monsters. He is the best. If you can if you can get him going, then he's fantastic. He's the best. Okay, so we're going to get two of these. And we're going to make them into Heraklinos, who costs three. So we're going to put three to the top of the deck. And I'm going to put Sekitor there, because... No, I, I don't... No, I'm, I don't really want to risk it. Do I? Yeah, let's, let's just put Sekitor back, because he, he's done enough, I think. Uh, so Heraclinos stops spells of traps. So we've got Chariot that stops monster effects. He stops spells of traps. 
Um, Lakari is at 2100, so he's going to find it really hard to get through. Yeah, he gets his Dark Home Dragon now. So Heraclignos costs a card in your hand to negate a spell trap. So we can negate two, because we got these in our hand. This is what I like to see from my gladiator beasts. Um, he's viewing, viewing extra deck. Um, fuck, that's going to be Aaron, isn't it? Let's do that. Well, at least I got back. And uh, looks like I win. Uh, Mole is going to bounce his monster back to hand. Really? Seriously? Knocking the door? Did he forget his keys? Okay, he can switch from that, that's fine. And then he summons that. Um, negate that to the grave. I pretty much won this, so. Negate. Just finishing up. Four thousand, and that should be it. Right, let's go for the attack. We can negate with Heraclinus if we want. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Gladiator Beasts. Pretty good. All right, I'll see you next time.